afternoon. It has been written, according to Representative Sherman Packard of New Hampshire, that often those who ignore history are doomed to repeat it. The 10th Amendment was instituted to reassure the states that they would remain largely in charge within their own borders. But it appears that the sovereignty that began slowly eroding in the 1800s continues to disintegrate, Sherman says, before our eyes today. Perhaps it is time for the states to take action before history is repeated. Now he was referring to, of course, our 10th Amendment, which says the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. Naturally, uh, Packard goes on to say, Washington interprets that to mean that the Constitution grants Congress the authority to do anything that is not explicitly prohibited by the first eight amendments. This philosophy continues to threaten the very sovereignty, he says, of the individual states and its cause for growing concern. Now this amendment, the 10th amendment, is very relevant today in the discussion of nationalized health care that's in the news all the time. There are those for it claiming that it would be beneficial for all American citizens to have guaranteed health care, and that there are those opposed to it recalling the disasters of socialized medicine in other countries, claiming that competition across state lines will keep down the cost of that health care. Now, the CEO of NAIC, which is the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, Ben Nelson said, I'm always excited about maintaining the support for the 10th Amendment, state sovereignty, when it comes to the regulation of insurance. And sometimes the regulatory interests at the federal level of having more involvement in the regulation of insurance. <clears throat> also, an interesting case regarding the issue of terrorism, also another issue that we hear in uh, today's news, can be seen in Bond versus the United States. Hear this synopsis straight from the Oyez.org website. Carol Ann Bond was found guilty of trying to poison her husband's mistress, near Linda Haynes, with toxic chemicals at least 24 times over the course of several months. A grand jury in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania charged Bond with two counts of possessing and using a chemical weapon in violation of a criminal statute implementing the treaty obligations of the United States under the 1993 Chemical Weapons Convention. Bond's attorneys argued that the statute was intended to deal with rogue states and terrorists and that their clients should have been prosecuted under the state law instead. In September uh, 2009, the court, U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit held that Bond lacked standing to challenge the constitutionality of the statute on the basis of the Tenth Amendment. And another uh, case that's closer to home for me is uh, Garcia versus the San Antonio Metropolitan Transit Authority. And this was back in 1996. <clears throat> it basically said that Garcia, the appellant, brought suit against his employer, the San Antonio Metropolitan Transit Authority, arguing that its function as a transit authority was a non-traditional function of state government. Thus, it was bound by the standards of the FLSA, which is the Fair Labor Standards Act. Now, Rex Lee, in his uh, article dated 1996 from the Brigham Young University of Law Review, entitled Federalism, Separation of Powers, and the Legacy of Garcia, meaning Garcia versus San Antonio Metropolitan the, uh, Transit Authority, he said, the Garcia opinion radically altered the state of separation of powers and federalism in America. In essence, the Garcia court authorized congressional usurpation of some of the judici judiciary's interpretive powers, thus enlarging Congress's power sphere at the expense of the judiciary. And it's very interesting how all of these uh, uh, amendments in our Constitution that our founding fathers uh, put into place for us can sometimes be misinterpreted and used for um, various goals. <clears throat>